but the engines do not suffer from seasonal temperature changes. On the XC60, gasoline 2-liter, 4s, with a capacity of 249, T5, and 320, T6, forces of their own design of the Drive E series are installed. In fact, this is the same engine with turbocharging and direct fuel injection, only with a different degree of forcing and firmware of the electronic control unit. More powerful, in addition to the turbine, it is also equipped with a drive supercharger powered by a crankshaft. It is technically more difficult and capricious to the quality of fuel and oil. In addition, both motors comply with Euro 6 environmental standards. The engines have a timing belt drive, and the belt life is as much as 240,000 kilometer a very solid period for modern internal combustion engines. Motors no longer have congenital sores on the first machines, however, there were problems with the turbine. But they quickly changed under warranty, and after the upgrade of the turbocharger, the defect no longer pops up. However, on runs of about 150,000 kilometers, there were cases of rupture of turbine nozzles. Although this problem has also sunk into oblivion, engines can use up oil due to heavy driving or clogged radiators. It is worth remembering this and periodically cleaning the radiators. In general, the oil for engines of this series has a viscosity index of 0 W20, for reliable operation of the units, it is better to follow this recommendation. Using a thicker oil can lead to valve sticking and shorten the life of the turbochargers. Mechanics also recommend flushing injection nozzles every 60,000 kilometers along with replacing spark plugs. In general, with timely and high-quality maintenance, gasoline engines are distinguished by enviable reliability and durability. However, the most common engine in the 60s is diesel. The share of modifications operating on heavy fuel accounts for approximately 85% of the vehicles on the market. Two-liter fours are generally reliable, subject to refueling with high-quality fuel and regular maintenance. Among the most common problems, one can single out a rupture of the air pipe going to the intercooler. At first, the part was changed along with the clamp, but the Swedes quickly solved the problem and now it is no longer relevant. Doubtful fuel savings can cause failure of the particulate filter, which, however, was a consumable item on the first models. Today this problem has been solved, the filter resource has noticeably increased but only on condition of high-quality fuel. Therefore, the life expectancy of the motor directly depends on the choice of refueling. By the way, on runs of more than 120 to 150,000 kilometers, engines can start to snot, leaks appear on the valve cover gasket, crankshaft, and camshaft oil seals. Otherwise, diesels no longer have problems. Even the EGR valve isn't a hassle if it gets cleaned as it gets dirty. Transmission the 8-speed automatic is also reliable, there are simply no other gearboxes for the Volvo XC60 in our market. But the unit has practically no congenital source. It is only necessary every 60 to 80,000 kilometers to update the oil in the box. Although the car is still quite young, the oldest recently turned 4 years old. The box is strongly tied to electronics and lends itself well to diagnosis and most of such minor problems as jolts and jerks when switching are solved by reprogramming on a computer stand. Therefore, when servicing the box, it is necessary to pay attention to the condition of electronic components and components. The all-wheel drive system with the Haldex electromagnetic clutch that connects the rear wheels is time-tested and very reliable. However, no one has yet cancelled the service, and timely service will extend the life of the gearboxes, transfer case, and the clutch itself. Units are subject to lubrication every 60,000 to 80,000 kilometers. After a run of 150,000 kilometers, at risk are the propeller shaft crosses, from 8,000 rubles, and the outboard bearing, from 12,500 rubles. Suspension. From about the same mileage, the first significant replacements in the independent suspension will begin, when the front levers and shock absorbers are asked to rest. Original parts are expensive, for example. A set of assembled levers on the XC60 costs about 25,000 rubles. And often it is enough to replace only the silent blocks of levers, which in a non-original design can be bought for 1,500 to 2,000 rubles. In general, with a balanced approach, you can save a lot when repairing the chassis. In general, the suspension on the XC60 is strong, and repair costs can be significantly reduced due to non-original parts and replacement in a specialized service. Conclusions Therefore, the Volvo XC60 is a good option for second-hand purchases. 
the car turned out to be quite reliable, and the optimal version is modifications with the base gasoline oil. In addition, the crossover after restyling got rid of most of the innate problems.